So if you clicked on this video, you're probably considering applying to UWC or otherwise called United World Colleges. Also, if you have never heard of UWC, don't worry and watch the video because I will explain to you what UWC is and what this incredible movement of international schools around the globe are. So I myself am a graduate from UWC Robert Bosch College, which is the college which is located in Germany. And I finished my UWC education this year a bit earlier than expected due to the outbreak of COVID-19. So the United World Colleges are a global movement of international schools, but also short courses and just of people in general who came together united by one common mission. And the mission is that UWC believes that education is a force to unite people and cultures for a sustainable and peaceful future. UWC is about bringing kids together from all across the globe and teaching them we trust them to be agents for change in the world to provide selfless leadership, to try things and fail and then get up and try again. So UWC has a network of 18 boarding schools around the world and what happens at those boarding schools is that teenagers or young adults from all across the globe come together for two years, live together every day and get an education together. So when you inform yourself about UWC, you will realize that not everybody is given a place at UWC because that simply is not possible with the resources that UWC has right now. Therefore, you have to apply to UWC and I'm here to tell you my advice and tips of how to get into UWC. But a lot of course depends on you as a person. So how do you get into UWC? And mainly there are two ways to get into UWC. One which is the route via your national committee and one which is the route via the Global Selection Program. So the Global Selection Program is open for everybody around the world, but there is an important distinction between the two. If you apply via the Global Selection Program, you're not able to receive any financial aid or scholarship from UWC. That's why I will focus on applying via your UN national committee. So first of all, what is the national committee? So almost every country in the world has a national committee, which is an organization which is associated with UWC and is part of, U of the whole UWC movement. And basically it's a bunch of people, mostly volunteers, for your country for selecting people for your country to send them or to nominate them for a place at a UWC college. The application process differs from national committee to national committee. I was selected by the national committee of Germany, but what I've gathered from conversation with my peers and couriers at UWC is that the application process and the selection process is fairly similar when it comes to the structure of it. Of course there are certain differences, but generally I would tell you that you should expect a two-round system. So the first round is most likely going to be an online application or a written application where you have to fill out personal details, write motivational essays, answer certain questions and maybe upload some supporting documentation like transcripts or your birth certificate. And then the second round is more personal because most likely the second round is an interview or a selection weekend or a selection day. There are different variations to that. In Germany we do have a selection weekend so we go there for a whole weekend and have different activities also some interviews with the selection committee, but this differs from national committee to national committee. So check out the website of your national committee. So while the selection process differs from national committee to national committee, there are five core values which is given by UWC International, which all national committees have to follow when they select applicants. And those five selection criteria are intellectual curiosity and motivation, active commitment, social competence, resilience, personal responsibility and integrity, and motivation for UWC. Additionally, to those five core selection criteria, each national committee is allowed to add certain selection criteria. So for example, some grade requirements or maybe some age requirements, that depends on the national committee. And what I've already mentioned before is the aspect of financial aid and scholarships. So UWC was founded on the idea that financial circumstances should not hinder someone of attending a UWC if the person is suitable or was chosen by the selection committee to attend a UWC. So if you apply via the national committee, most likely there is the possibility of getting financial aid or a scholarship. So my first point is, is that you should be authentic and stay true to yourself throughout your application. UWC may seem like an intimidating elite institution who is looking for people who have founded an NGO at the age of 12 or won the Nobel Prize, but it certainly isn't. 
most likely the national committee or the selection committee is looking for your motivation to be part of UWC and what you can bring to the table, but that doesn't have to be something. So there's no point in making up any stories, any experiences, writing down something in your essays, in your resume, which didn't happen just to impress the selection committee. If you have something that you're passionate about, that you're motivated about, a hobby that you've maybe been doing for the past years, then this is worth putting down and this is enough and you don't have to add any extra glamour or like, you know, mm, spice. No, your passion, your motivation for something, a hobby that you have been doing, an extracurricular activity, maybe you've did some service, some volunteering, anything like that, it's enough. Put that down in your application and show the selection committee through that story that you that you're motivated and would fit into UWC. My second point is that you should know why you would like to go to UWC. And it might seem a bit obvious, but let me tell you what I mean by that. So UWC is, in my opinion, not just for people who would like to do the IB diploma, but you should be aware that UWC has a clear mission. And, and while there is a certain academic standard at UWC, and the IB diploma is gonna take a lot of your time while you be at a new WC, make sure that you know why you would like to go to UWC besides doing the IB diploma. So what is it about UWC specifically without the IB diploma, what makes you motivated to go to UWC and portray that motivation in your application. So my third point is start early with your application. And of course the deadlines vary from national committee to national committee and also if you apply through your national committee then there is a deadline for your application. And you should start early for three reasons. So the first one is that often they require some sort of supporting documentation, birth certificates, maybe transcripts and it's a good idea to have them all ready. The second reason is if your national committee requires you to have references then you need to give the referee enough time to write that reference for you. Remember, the ref referee is doing you a favor and so it's only fair to let them know way in advance so they have enough time along their other commitments. If it's a teacher they have to still go to work and teach kids to allow them to have enough time to write your reference. And the third point is that you will probably find yourself rewriting a lot of your application. When I first wrote down my essays I was like okay that's good and then after a while while I came back to my application and reread them I was like no I want to change it that doesn't sound good I w that doesn't add any value so you will find yourself in that situation probably so give yourself some time to go over your application so my fourth point is that you should not list things and remember to reflect so a lot of UWC national committees say that they would not like to have sort of a bullet list of your achievements, awards and everything. Sometimes they ask you for a quick resume, but then when it comes to the essays, there is your opportunity to reflect about some valuable experiences, moments, or to talk about your passion. And that's and this is showing way more of your personality and way of and way more of your character to the national committee and to the selection committee rather than just a list of things. So pick out a few things out of all your things that you've done in the past, extracurriculars, some of your passions, hobbies, etc. And then pick out the ones where you think that's really something that is important to me, that is dear to my heart and which I can talk about and show the selection committee that this is important to me and also convey maybe some of the things that they are looking for through the story, through this experience that I'm sharing with them. So number five and my last one and maybe not the most happy one is that you should be prepared to get rejected and you should keep your options open. I myself got rejected the first time I applied for UWC and what they said in the email was that this doesn't necessarily mean that you're not suitable for UWC but there were people who demonstrated sort of that they're more suitable right now for UWC than you are and that's given the limited resources that they have for scholarships and everything it's not possible to give everyone a place. So be prepared that you could get rejected and keep your options open. There are many other movements around the world and organizations which are similar to your VC and I will link some of them below in the description box so check that out. Um, but be prepared that it don't settle all your hope on getting acceptance by your WC. It might as well happen that you get rejected and that's not the end of the world. When I got rejected for your WC, in the first moment I felt like the whole world is crashing down on me and everything is crumbling down but you know what? If I hadn't got rejected, I've never went for exchange to China. But because I got rejected, I was so keen on finding another opportunity to engage in something intercultural. And then this experience happened that I could go to China for exchange. And then next year I applied again and I got in. So if you have the chance to apply next year again, and that's allowed and possible in your national committee, then definitely 
try and apply again. But sometimes it's also a matter that maybe you're not necessarily the right person for the LBC. Maybe you think you are, but sometimes the expertise of the selection committee Sometimes the selection committee knows before you know that you would be not happy at a UWC or most likely wouldn't be happy at a UWC. And that could be for various reasons. Maybe they see that you're not ready yet to move out of your environment, that you're so close to your family and friends and that you have still some commitments that you're not ready to leave yet. So there might be different, different reasons for a rejection. And if you're really interested in that, maybe you can send them an email and say, hi, I got rejected, I understand, but could you maybe tell me what did I do? What could I do better if I would apply again or why did you reject me? <laughs> so this was my video about applying to ULABC and my advice for it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments or write me on my Instagram. And make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel that would really support me a lot and means a lot to me. And if you would like to see more content about my time at UWC or my advice for UWC or about the IB diploma, let me know down in the comments so I know what you guys would like to see. So I hope you liked this video and I see you guys next time and until then stay safe and bye.